I spent the day today moving stuff around here in the shop, put tools away and, and moving a bunch of stuff around. So we got room to maneuver those wings around to mount them on the airframe. When it was on floats, the wings cleared above that upper bench over there. That one there. And were below underneath that upper bench. They cleared that brackets and stuff for that upper shelf up there. But on the way it is now, sitting here on this little gear legs, they're going to protrude in there and kind of rest on that middle shelf over there. I had to clean it off, clear it off. I put some towels on there to rest the wingtip on. And it's the same thing over here on the left side. We're just going to barely have room in here for the wings. So there's going to be some finagling going around to get the, the wings on there. On the normal Cub, the wingspan is a little over 36 feet. Well, these trusses in here were 40 feet, but they hang over 6 inches on either side. And then, of course, there's 6 inch studs on there in the wall, 38 feet inside to inside, wall to wall. That's what it is. So I had two feet. I had a good foot on either side of the wing tips, but this uh, is going to be four inches wider on this fuselage, so it's going to be a little wider here. So anyway, we're going to have some finagling to do to get the wings on here and get everything fitted in here, but we'll get it figured out. Might have to take that uh, upper shelf off there when I go to pick the airplane up. But anyway, I got this all straightened up in here and got room to put the wings on. Been fooling with a fuselage here and checking things out, and those are called the hinges there that the on the side of the fuselage there that the wings mount to. That calls for an AN5 bolt, so a 5 bolt is 5 sixteenths. Well, I was trying those out and fitting a bolt up there, but I couldn't get a bolt in those holes because they're all filled up with powder coat and stuff. So I've got to get a reamer and clean those out so that I can get the bolts in there. And I just tried a number 5 reamer. A 5 16 reamer but it wouldn't fit in there uh, with a screw uh, driver on it or a screw gun on it uh, drill on it because it runs in to here the chuck and stuff on the screw gun so I've got to do this by hand anyway I uh, went ahead and got uh, one size smaller than the 5 16 to run through here first and I'll run that through there and then run the 5 16 through there. So we got everything ready to put the wings on and the weather's supposed to be nice tomorrow so we would open the door up and pull those wings outside and then bring them in one at a time. But I got to go to the dentist tomorrow first thing in the morning and have a root canal done and a couple other teeth worked on so I don't know how I'm going to feel about doing that when I get home. So. Well I got everything ready and I thought I was going to put the wings on today, start hanging the wings today. The weather is nice, it'll be a good day to open the hanger up and roll a wing rack out there and, and bring these in. It's been raining for the last couple weeks, the day was supposed to be the only break we get in it that it's supposed to start raining again. Anyway I thought I had everything all ready, turns out it's not quite ready. The parts manual for this Piper Super Cub leaves a lot to be desired. Some of the drawings on it are kind of rough, but all in all it's pretty good. But it doesn't show any of the hardware that you need to assemble this. None of the bolts and nuts and screws and things like that are, are shown in the parts book. Now the exception to that is the tail, the horizontal stabilizer, and the elevator surface back there. That's shown pretty good. That has a hardware breakdown on it and shows it pretty good. And the other exception is here on this wing hinge where this wing attaches to the fuselage. It does show these bolts here. And this forward wing attach fitting here, it calls for an AN5-17 alpha bolt with, and I don't remember what the number is, but basically it's a AN365 fiber lock nut. And then washers as necessary to, to fill in the gap between these hinges and the spar. And then the rear hinge calls for an AN516 alpha bolt. Well, this has been modified a little bit here. I have this bracket right here that goes on there, and that's for a lifting eye for floats. And it's basically the same thing as what they have for a tie down ring out on the wing struts. And this one's stainless steel, fits in there. Of course, it fits outside of that hinge, so it needs a longer bolt on there. I anticipated that and I ordered some longer bolts 
Now this is an AN 5-20A volt, and that could work in there, but it's not quite right. Now theoretically, these bolts should the shank of them here, the unthreaded portion of the shank should fit all the way through and protrude out this side. And you can make up the difference for any extra length on there by adding a washer or so onto that. Well, this shank on this AN20 does not quite protrude all the way through, at least some of the threaded portion in there. Now there's enough threads on here. An AN365 bolt will go on there and just barely uh, might not even have quite enough threads going through there because you're supposed to have at least two threads protrude through the elastic or the rubber on the end of the nut for it to, to be proper. So anyway, that doesn't quite work. And I don't have any longer bolts. I mean, I have longer ones. I have AN25 bolts, but those are too long, quite a bit too long. I think the ones on that were on here, they made up with a bunch of washers in there to extend that. And you could have put a washer under the head, another one or underneath the shank end of that or the thread end of that. But that gets kind of sloppy when you start doing that. So I've ordered some new bolts to get the proper size bolts for that. It'll be a few days before they get here. Anyway, we're on hold for this for now. Got everything else pretty much ready to go. 